stocks. Given all that's happened this year, what are you leaning to going forward in terms of the way your own fund is holding its allocations? Yeah, we really have a pretty flexible uh, uh, mandate, really, looking across a wide range of asset classes. So what we really want to do is, is find the securities in the market today that will provide us an attractive income stream for the fund's investors, but also securities that we feel like over the, the longer term still maintain a prospect for capital appreciation. So that's really the hallmark of our approach and strategy. Now, that said, we have seen a pretty big shift in the fund's asset mix, uh, not necessarily the last month or two, but really going back four to six quarters, we've really seen it kind of flip where we had a, a, a majority of our holdings were in the fixed income markets, and today uh, it's really swung more to the equity asset class. So we have seen very strong performance from corporate bonds, high yield bonds in particular, a market that's really benefited from the decline in long-term treasury rates, as well as the strong demand for corporate debt securities. We saw, we've seen the yield uh, until very recently where it's backed up a little bit. Right. We've seen the yield drop to record lows in that high yield market. And uh, that was an opportunity for some profit taking and, and a reallocation of some of the, uh, the proceeds into the equity market. Now, what's interested us there is that we've seen a lot of opportunity across a wide range of sectors. So equities overall are fairly valued, would you say? You know, I, yeah, I would say that in the U.S., the market is, is reasonably fairly valued. Um, but that said, there's lots of pockets both within certain sectors as well as just certain sectors underperforming that have looked very interesting to us. What are some of the stocks perhaps you added to the portfolio this year or look very attractive going forward for you now? Uh, one example would be a company like Waste Management that uh, we haven't owned historically. We did start buying it at the end of last year. Um, you know, very attractive from the standpoint of market positioning, but one that had a somewhat uncertain growth outlook, in particular the uh, disposal of construction debris, something that had really yet to recover from the financial crisis, the recession, uh, but the outlook is gradually starting to improve. We think it'll be a little bit of a, of a later cycle event, and uh, that's a company that had a very attractive, has a very attractive dividend yield, was trading at a, we think a depressed valuation despite the overall market performing well. And it adds the additional layer of a company that's really well positioned to benefit from the much lower debt financing costs available mm. on the market today. So it's a company that we've seen recently refinance debt at much lower coupons that is additive to the cash flow available for the equity owners.